Oh my yeah. Oh dear, we started that game already, eh? <laughs> now then, anyway, here we are at the base of the cobbler in Scotland. And I've parked about two miles out of town just because it's free parking and I don't mind a bit of a walk. So a little bit extra for me to do today, but what a place to be, just moseying on through this beautiful forest. And then I'm going to join up with the main path a little bit higher up than the normal section, I think. But exciting to be out. And I've not done the cobbler before. And if you've not seen it, I think you'll uh, be quite impressed by its prowess sat up on top, almost like it's unnatural. Ah, yes, exciting. Anyway, me and Motoria, and we are out for one night while camping somewhere nice up on the summit ish i don't think you can actually pitch on the summit but we will find a place i've got the terra nova tent to test again so i'm looking forward to that and a few other items possibly that are new to me who knows anyway let's get up there eh Well, it has been quite a slog thus far. Uh, those two extra miles to do in the woods, low, lower down. And now I've joined this sort of main path. It's still in the woods and then as soon as we get out of the tree line, then great, I'll be able to see up to the uh, mountain tops, which is quite exciting. But uh, I took my top off because um, I got really hot. Even though when I set off from the car, it was two degrees Celsius. Um, and I'm still hot, but as you can see, a little bit of snow falling now. So this was not forecast at all. It said it'd be totally dry. So anyway, I'm equipped for it. Well, this snow was completely unexpected. It just shows you when it comes to Scotland and other mountainous areas that you just need to make sure you've got the right kit with you just in case. So I'm continuing on in my t-shirt, but I put a set of gloves on and I've covered my backpack up as well. Cause what I don't want is anything to get wet. But I mean, you can see there's quite a bit of snowfall coming down there. Anyway. We need to continue up and try find the cobbler. You can see it up there, but it's just quite faint really with all the uh, snow coming down. <laughs> it looks pretty epic though, I've got to say, it is epic. Oh yes, just I get excited. It is just brilliant. Well, I've got to say, the closer we get to this, the more epic it looks. It is actually tremendous, it really is. And yeah, the snow's still falling, but it is gonna be a good day, it really is. What a place to be. And hardly a soul to be seen. Here, yeah, look, you see that tree there? It's the only tree around and about. <laughs> That's me, that tree. That is me, out on its own, away from the crowds down in the forest down there. <laughs> awesome, just awesome. 
This is kind of cool, these massive boulders. But if you get caught out, there's a right shelter here. Just pull a couple of these stones out, you'll be able to sleep here, no problem. So it's nice uh, knowing about these places on the way up, and then at least you've got somewhere to fall back to, just in case. And in weather like this, <laughs> you never know, you never know. Here's another massive boulder. Huge things. These must have come falling down from up here somewhere, I would have thought. And these were the final resting place. I'm not sure if a glacier would have moved them. Well, it could have done. Huge. Well, this snow is not stopping. And this is where the path splits. We've got the right hand route here, which uh, goes up and round the back of this. It's a little bit easier. And then this left hand route, which heads pretty much straight up through the whole lot there. It's a bit more of a scramble, but you know the route I'm going to take. I prefer to take the hard route up and the easy route back, so. Oh, yeah. Non stop though, this snow it's starting to settle just slightly, as you can see. I'm sure it'll pass though. Anyway. Let's bash on directly. a bit nippy so let's whip this on use this for landing aircraft <laughs> hey blue one then get on Well, we're about halfway up to the top section up here and just look at that. That is imposing. What a place. The wind's sort of died down a bit now and the snow's died off. So yeah, just a really nice place to be. I'm just keeping an eye out as well. There's a spot here for pitching a tent and also probably just sort of over there as well. So just in case I need to drop back down again, at least I know that I can pitch a tent. Always worth checking and keeping a note of these things. But yeah, <laughs> look, look at this. Yeah, come on then, bluey dog. Come on, let's get on. Yeah, enough of that malarkey. <laughs> Go on. Come on, little climb. Come on. Good boy. Steady away. Nice and safe. What a place though. What a place. <sighs> Sun is just trying to get through there. 
and it's this last scramble up to this central section in between the summits. Come on then. Come on, get on. at this here literally under the summit it's just basically a cliff all the way down here what an amazing place to be and there's a few little cubby holes and things so a couple of these caves which would be enough to get out of the weather if you were absolutely desperate we're surviving up here but what a place what a place yeah definitely one to come and do is this and this path it's such a well-made path but there are places you do have to use your hands so it is a place that you will need to scramble but whoever built it and laid the rocks on top of each other to make the path sections done a cracking job mate you really have so just look at this well, a tiny little cave here, so I thought I'll put my head in. I don't know if you can see that, but absolutely full of litter. Just disgraceful. Complete disgrace. So for all you Muppets that have done that, have a word. Seriously, have a word. You know. Here we are then. This is the point, it's like a col between the two summits. So we can either head up this way or into the mist and up onto that one. So while we're here, I say let's go this way and have a look. And all the time I'm just looking for places to pitch a tent because it's very rugged up here. The chance of it is going to be quite little, I would think. So I'm sure that I'm going to have to drop back down again somewhere. But <laughs> we're in the clouds and it's still a glorious day. Even though this snow came in, Hi Blue. Go on. Come on. Good boy. Get on then. Lead the way. Just coming to the top of this first one and as you can see we've got a massive slab here luckily the rock is actually quite grippy but now it's a bit damp i'm just having to be a bit extra careful really so let's have a look up here eh i'll just uh, see what it's like every foot it's actually really grippy even though it's damp strangely so it's about it's a 30 to 40 degree angle is this you come in blue come on come on blue come on climb come on good boy come on yeah he didn't have as quite as good grip as i do to be honest 
Uh, he prefers it on the grass, I think. Anyway, there's a last little channel here. I think this is the bit to get to the top. Climb, blue climb. Just stand then, stand and wait. Good boy. Let's have a look up here. Let's have a look. Steady away, dog. Steady away. <laughs> blue. Actually, blue, stay there. Blue, left. No, no, go down, down. Go down. Good boy, stand. Blue, left. Go on, left. Good boy. I'm hoping he'll just come out up here somewhere. Save him climbing. Good boy, good boy. There's a good lad. Good lad. Right, you stand there and wait for me then. Ah. Yes. Nice knowing you left and right, isn't it? <laughs> Some people don't. Uh, I can't get up here without my hands. Let me put you down. <sighs> I'm not going to take any risks. Right, hands out. Oh, there we go. Grip. Get nice, solid handholds. And up she goes. Oh, there we go. So this is it, the first main summit. And this is that overhanging rock that I was showing you on the way up. So if we just come to the edge and have a look here. <laughs> yeah, straight off there. If you look down there, it is a cliff. Let's get to the top though. Just to say we've been here. Ah, oh. look at the views, fantastic, 360 degrees of paper, <laughs> oh dear, look at this, whoa, that is a right cliff is that, straight off down there, and all the way around this, Well, just gonna have a minute now and eat this banana that I've carried all the way up, which is now like baby food. <laughs> oh man, that is not very appetizing. It tastes the same, but it, it's like eating a giant slug. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, God. Leo, come here. Oh, sun's trying there. It's just trying to come out. Come on, sunshine. You can do it. Look, it's just clearing. Wow. So there we go. We can see the path now up to the other side. And that is actually the highest point up there. Oh, excellent. Well, while it's clear, I think we might as well bash on, get up there.
Yeah, just to say there is actually an easier way down from the top of this. So it just comes down this section here and then there's two ways down, but you can either just walk your way around this one or just down here. So yeah, not as bad as uh, clambering up like I was. It's a bit of a scramble here and there. So have to be a bit careful, especially with the weight of a backpack on. Nearly there. Blue this way. Oh, come on. <laughs> Well, last little remnants of snow up here. But look at this. First thing people do when they see snow, they've got to jump on it. Look at that. Slip off there, that'll break away. And then you're straight down that gully. Not a place to be messing about. Not at all. Well, just uh, continuing on to the the highest point, which is where you thread the needle. I thread a lot of needles in my time because uh, sewing is something I've been brought up with. So I'm a dab band with a sewing machine and a needle and thread. Ah, <laughs> oh dear, modern male, you see. That is me. Well, here we are, the summit of Ben Arthur, also known as the Cobbler. So, let's ditch this backpack. Make it as safe as possible. And what we're gonna do is just go explore the way you go through this, out the other side, and then up and onto the top. Whether I'll do it or not today, I don't know, because it might be a little bit slippy and risky, and I am currently the only person here. So anyway, let's get over and have a look, eh? that is threading the needle so let's take you up there now it's not a place to be messing about at all right let's go then <laughs> this is sheer drop off every side let's take you to this side first so we're not too bad at the minute but as soon as you uh, come through the eye of the needle then it is fair drop 
and this side here just show you off there that is not a place you want to fall either so we need to get ourselves through this hole here and then round and then you come up and onto the top So this is the eye of the needle. Let's just work our way through. It isn't the easiest of things to do is this. You just have to be really careful. I just need to make sure that you've got some really good handholds, making sure you're planting your feet properly. There we go. <laughs> and then when you come out the other side, this is where you just have to be extra careful again. So if we just look down here, straight off into that boulder field there. So we've got to be a bit careful on that. And then this is sort of a bit of a path up here, but it is a scramble. So if you've not got a head for heights, do not be doing this at all. I mean, on a day like today, it's dry at least, but it's still not ideal. There's a little bit of a breeze. And you just need to take your time and you know grab hold of the proper handholds because this is a shelf to get up so quite an awkward one to do so yeah let me think how i can do this with you guys and keep it safe so getting some decent handholds a really good one under there hold all my weight with that and with the feet Not the easiest of things to do. Right, release that one. On to another good one. There we go. And we're up. <laughs> so the next one is just as hard as that. We've got to sort of clamber up this section here. Again, it's just a case of making sure that we are safe through the whole lot of this. Pop you down. So if you feel around, there are some really good finger holds, but not an easy push up here. Ah, there we go. Whew. take a minute and if you can just see down there it is a fair drop and all the way around and this is where it comes to a little bit scary on this side because that that does dive off down there quite a long way anyway we're just about at the top now so let's pop you down again at a time. Blue, go away. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. Oh, I've got to use my knee there. It's my bad knee. I don't like using that. There we go. We are on top. We are on top. And what a place to be. The views are just to die for. And, you know, just epic all the way around. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, that is definitely one just to make sure that you uh, keep yourself safe with that. And today, because it's so cold, my hands are getting a bit chilly now because I've been touching the rock. So I'm not going to mess about. I'm going to get back down there and uh, make sure that I can still use my hands because I've got to pitch a tent in a minute. But there we go, we are on the top of the cobbler. 
highest point around here for a while and it's 800 and I'm gonna say 86 meters I'll put it there if I'm right yes a good clamber up eh right let's get back down there we go complete so now we need to find a place to pitch a tent on the way up I did find a few places and there's uh, one just around here actually which is on the summit which I might get away with if it'll take a peg because obviously up here a lot of it's just rock and there's a tiny bit of soil on top that's all but I mean to be honest just here is a possibility but if you can see there's lots of stone just through it all so it's just whether it'll actually take a peg properly and keep it nice and solid on the ground anyway to be fair it's quite exposed here but it's not a bad shout it didn't give any high winds or anything and currently it's probably about five mile an hour wind something like that so yeah I'll have a quick look around and then we'll double, double check because if it's somewhere a bit better I'll take it This is it then. The place we are going to pitch a tent right here on the edge of this cliff, eh? We've got this in the background, so hopefully I can get the drone out later on or tomorrow morning and show you all of this to its full glory. But first of all, let's get this tent up. There we go. All set up. Beautiful pitch. It's actually really, really solid there. Um, every peg just rock solid into the ground and I am very happy with it. It will be able to take any wind that's thrown at it I reckon. So there we go. Let's get inside bluey dog. Hey, let's get inside. Well, we're in, nice and toasty. I've been here about probably an hour now, just uh, getting all my bits together. I've got a complete jungle of stuff at this side, just all my stuff. And the dog is happily just chilling out there. He's got his nose out under the side there, just to uh, look at the view, I think. But what a view it is. It is brightened up and just take a look at this. What? An amazing view. And this is why I came here. This is it. So while we can see, let's just show you around. So over there, that is the first pinnacle that I was on top of. And what a craggy outcrop that is, just stunning. And all the way off this, it's just, this is the part where I walked up. So the path itself just wiggles its way all the way up through all this. Just beautiful. But then if I turn you around, we've got the, uh, uh, I think it's part, it is part of the sea. It's not a lock. Um, just uh, down there, which is just beautiful. And then just look at these. Just stunning, massive craggy outcrops. Beautiful. And then up there, if you can just make out the two eyes where you just sort of clamber through for the sewing of the needle. And the sunshine, look, it is trying. It's really trying. But off this side of the valley, I mean, just beautiful. It's just a bit of cloud coming in there, but you really do feel like you really are in the middle of nowhere. Just stunning. Stunning.
It's nice to come out and see the views. It is bitterly cold though, like unbelievable. Just the breeze coming through is just stripping me my heat. So I've got the Rab Infinity Micro Light jacket on, which is it's great because it's windproof with it, so it's just uh, keeping me nice and warm up here. But just look at all this. I was stood on top of that earlier, and now we can see all the way down to the sea just the surrounding mountains everywhere. Just beautiful. Blue's just messing about as usual. Just, oh man, I'm just honestly blown away by this place. It really is just stunning. Let's walk back up here again. I'm not going to get on top again, but I will just take you to the eye of the needle again and just show you through here. Look at that. What a window. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yep. This is what it's all about. Get yourselves outside and feel this. Feel that sunshine, feel that cold breeze. And make your body work. Because it doesn't do much when you're sat in your office or sat at home. <laughs> it really doesn't. Oh yeah, stimulate your mind, stimulate your body get to do this, eh? <sighs> well, it's pretty chilly. Just got myself uh, set up with my rab sort of down bottoms on and my rab jacket. And now I'm getting out a rab sleeping bag, which is the Alpine 600. And I've got to say, this is one of their cheaper down bags. Um, I think it's about 260 quid, which for a decent quality down bag is pretty good. And this goes down to minus nine, they reckon. Uh, the comfort limit's minus five, so pretty much for the UK, this is all you'll ever need, but it's packed small and it's nice and warm. That's the main thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna get my feet in this. The rest of my body's actually okay now, but I've got the dog just chilling out there. He's uh, tired after chasing the drone round, so he's just laid out. It's still tickling with snow a little bit. 
but it's just been mega it really has just like after all that snow and proper white out then just all of a sudden it just all opened up and then there we go being able to play outside so anyway i'm going to get my feet in here and i'm going to crack open a beer well, i don't know if you can see or not but it is snowing and it's uh, just coming in here a bit so i think i best shut this tent up get the dog in and just make sure that we are keeping dry and warm and then i'll open this beer yes it's pitched well though i'm happy with the tent it's not going to go anywhere it could take a hell of a lot of uh, wind i think as well just by the way it's pitched so that's good it's a little bit um on the sort of small side really for me and the dog i i've sort of tried to put my bag inside here and the dog's going to sleep in the porch but um yeah just sort of still not quite i mean tents of this sort of size and weight they're always going to be small they're just enough for you to get in and keep yourself happy for the night really but um when you've uh, used a bigger tent you sort of realize that you know sometimes you do need that extra space but you've got to carry the weight and you've got to carry the size so it is swings and roundabouts with it i'm liking it though definitely yep yeah i'll just show you because it's just starting to whiten up out there a bit just losing the view down to the bottom of the valley it's nice just to take these moments and reflect on the day really i had a plan in my mind like often people do you always sort of plan something out you envisage how it's going to be what it's going to turn out like and then when it doesn't you sometimes can get frustrated by that or let down by it so for me that doesn't happen that often because i just sort of think anything is bonus really you know from just being sat at home doing nothing to getting out and doing whatever outside it's just it's all bonus so i feel that it's always in credit so yeah today i sort of had this vision of how this was going to be today and like all clear and sunny and beautiful and it wasn't that it stirred it whited out and you know it took all those views away from me but you know sat tight and it paid off you know it all came good in the end the sun came out and i could look down the valleys and just sort of see you know this amazing scenery and um you know one place to look at as well from here which i've really enjoyed is looking back at ben lomond because uh, i climbed ben lomond with nicola last year in fact we ran it um and that's kind of cool place you know that's um what is it 900 and just try to pull a number out of my brain 976 meters above sea level maybe and this is like 880 odd or something but um you know it's it's quite a a decent challenge to get up to the top of Ben Lomond even though it's not very technical this was a bit more technical but um and more beautiful this one I've got to say but the good thing about this is you get to look back at Ben Lomond so yes you just have to sometimes reflect on the day and just you know pull out the positives and to be fair there isn't really any neg negatives <laughs> at all it's just been grand hasn't it absolutely grand yep anyway just enjoying chilling out and drinking a beer yep i say it quite often but it's a good life it really is a good life a happy man well i've got to say it is cold really chilly I think uh, outside, let's have a quick look. It's been sort of snowing a bit, but let's have a look out there. Yep, it's pretty white. So, yeah, it's all sort of closed in again. 
So there's not much to do. I was um, hoping I could sort of sit out and take in the sunset, but <laughs> no chance of that, is there? So I think I'm just going to open another beer. Why not, eh? Tap the can. <laughs> Always do. Yep. So let's drink another one of these. Ah, yes. I've got some nice food to cook though, so that should be good. Um, we are on a chili and garlic. Let's have a think. Vegetables, loads of veg, and some that cheese. What do you call it? <laughs> I can't remember. What's the cheese called? Uh, hello me, hello me. Ah oh dear, should remember that one. Anyway, hopefully we'll uh, be cooking that after I finish this beer, I reckon. And uh, it will be getting dark shortly, I would have thought, so. So the tent, you can see it's got a bit of snow on it. There's a bit of snow lying on the ground here. And it's purely really because we are in the clouds. So all that moisture in the clouds is just sort of freezing and then just uh, sitting and hitting the tent. But, I've got to say, it's really cold, really, really cold. I've sort of uh, struggled to sort of maintain my temperature. The dogs sort of seem fine, to be fair, but um, anyway, I can't wait to sort of get some uh, food on and then get myself warmed up with a bit of food. But we've got about 20 minutes of light left, I reckon, before it gets proper dark. And uh, at that point, I'll be in the tent and cooking that warmth <laughs> that's what i need definitely but yeah just last nice chance to get to stretch our legs before we settle in for the evening oh, just glorious eh cheers guys so here we are we have halloumi with some mixed vegetables, which will be nice just to add with that. We've got a sweet chilli and garlic sauce just for the flavour, and then we're going to bulk it out with a bit of the quinoa. So we're going to pile that into the pan, and then put that onto the stove. Dinner. And for the lovely blue, hey, eh? good boy. <laughs> we have some of this... Uh, wet food in a pouch and then i've got some dry food as well which is going to just add into that and he's eager to eat it let's get this sorted for him eh go on then tell you what it's a nice meal is this put those veg just in the pan there and now, this halloumi, I'm just going to take out and then break into smaller pieces and just pop that in as well. And I know halloumi is absolutely gorgeous when you grill it, but it's nice and easy just to shove in the pan. And all I'm going to do is just add a tiny bit of water and just let it sort of steam away all this. A good meal and a hearty one at that. The loom has got quite a lot of uh, calories in it, so that's quite good. Especially when you're out on a mountain like this. Give a bit to the dog. Here, Blue. Come on. Good boy. Yeah, because there's quite a lot in one pack anyway, so share it with the dog. Yeah. You can have these last bits, my little boy, hey? <laughs> Good lad, hey? You like halloumi, don't you? Right, so, let's get this on the boil. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of water. That was a tiny bit. I'll have to get some more at the other bit, anyway. Let's get it on. 
I need to find my lighter next. <laughs> Turn the gas on. I can't even do that. There we go then. Pile that on. Wait for Dennis Cook. Might add a lid. This has got to be the best mountain meal you can have. Absolutely gorgeous. It's such a good combination. And to say the ingredients for this have cost me about, I reckon about £4.50, something like that. And all your sort of um, freeze dried meals and dehydrated meals and things like that that you get for camping, yes, they're lighter weight, but they cost like, they cost the same £4.50 up to about 10 quid. So, you know, this healthier more filling and really really tasty yep good meal quick cup of tea there we go so i just put the bag in for the last sort of 30 seconds. Get a nice brew. There we go. And then this is a mini sort of Nalgene bottle which I put my milk in. And uh, it's probably much got enough milk for probably three cups of tea but I like to sort of drown mine with milk, so I'll use about half of it I would have thought. Yeah, not quite. So, we need to get the little snippers, pick that up, drop that into the neoprene pouch. Pop the lid on, and there's my cup of tea. The only thing to make this any better, tiny little chocolate bar to go with it. What a day, hey? What a day. You know what? I just feel so incredibly lucky that I still have a body that can get out and do these things and I can open my eyes and appreciate what is out there and just just feel this honestly it's incredible I can't really explain it in words nor show it in the video to actually understand or get people to understand how incredible it is just to get out and just do this it really is a fantastic thing and yes obviously just do it to your own abilities and don't push it too much to start with just keep uh, keep building your experience but it is just it's just awesome it really is and there's that many people who sort of sit at home and you know it's almost sitting misery really they don't sort of appreciate what's out there because they don't sort of stand up and get out and do it and I've got to say it's like you just need to open your eyes that's all just open your eyes get yourself out and open your eyes because there's so much to see so much to take on board you know stimulate that brain of yours and you know what it's only dark when you close your eyes it's only dark when you close your eyes 
So just keep trying to keep it light and bright and sunny and happy. Although you can close your eyes and let that sun press on your face and just make you feel that warmth because that's a nice way of closing your eyes. And then the other time is just laying back and going to sleep. I'll tell you what, it is a good life. It's a good life. Get out, open your eyes and just go take it all in. Anyway, on that note, we'll see thee in the morning. It is going to be time for me to lay this lug in a while. I'll drink this tea. Just tidy up the last bits I need to tidy up. Clear my mind for morning and then get to sleep. Silly. Morning flowers. Just look at this. It is just of the best mornings that I've ever, ever woken up to. Just incredible. I mean, the views everywhere. You know, just looking off down to the valley here is just absolutely stunning. Just take you up to this high point here and just mountains for miles and miles incredible and if we just look over here there's some of the higher ones we've still got snow on but just amazing absolutely amazing what an incredible place to be Ah, oh, yes, just takes your words away from you, it really does. We're just uh, still perched down here on our little ledge, with our tiny tent. What a day to wake up, eh? What a day to wake up on planet Earth. Well, I'm packing up, but I really don't want to leave. It is just, just splendid just being out here. Just, uh, yeah. A place that's really, really touched me honestly love it I'd like to come back another time definitely
belt, we are packed up, ready to go. Backpack's on, Blue's got his backpack on, and as always, leave no trace. Make sure that, you know, when you come out and do these sorts of things, that you are completely taking everything back with you, every corner of every wrapper and the whole lot. Let's keep this world looking as beautiful as it, it actually is. So let's not spoil it. Anyway, let's get off this mountain. There's enough of that, eh? Well, it is the end of an amazing camp. All the best I've ever done, definitely. So if you've enjoyed the video, give it one of these. And uh, I've got a Patreon set up, so if you're interested in joining that, just to help contribute towards the channel, that'd be fantastic. I've got a buy me coffee link, so you can contribute that way. And, Yes, I'm on Instagram as well, so check that out because I just always chuck photos up and uh, I, I sort of let people know where I am and what I'm doing on there. So, yes, join the community, eh? But from here in the beautiful Scottish mountains after tackling Ben Arthur, what an amazing place, the cobbler. So, we'll see you on the next one.